Hi, I'm Katherine Johns from the BizBuzz Show on the Linked Local Network. My guest is Kenneth Coe from Business Birth, Inc. So we're going to talk, as you might guess, about birthing businesses, specifically about baby boomers going into business for themselves. Now, this is a huge thing, isn't it, Kenneth? There's a huge, lot of us doing this. Huge, huge. And, and so why is that happening now? Well, because, you know, many, many, since 2008, when most of the baby boomers were kind of purged from corporate America, if you will, am I putting that lightly? <laughs> but uh, they were purged from <laughs> corporate America, and so they had to kind of figure out how, what they were going to do next. What was the next part of their life? And that came down to starting their own businesses. Yeah, but that's a scary prospect for somebody who's never been in business for themselves. You know, this guy described it to me, one of my clients like this. He said, Ken, metaphorically speaking, it's like being part of a zoo for 30 years and someone taking care of you, someone turning on the lights, for, and then suddenly being hoisted over into the jungle. He said, and now you have to survive. And, and, and fend you know, for yourself, fend right? for eat or yourself. Be absolutely, absolutely. But it's a tremendous opportunity, and that's the part that most of the baby boomers are starting to kind of come around to the opportunity that's out there. But what about stuff like practical considerations like benefits? This is the thing I hear all the time I have to get another job because I need the benefits. Well, what you have to do, and this is one of the things that we talk about at Business Birth, you have to create avenues. The government has to help you. Uh, uh, corporate America has to help you. You have to kind I mean, of Why does anybody have to help you? The thing is, is because baby boomers are our national treasure. <laughs> Wait a minute. I am a baby boomer and baby I don't feel like a national is treasure. Is exactly now, come right. on. That's why we need to come together as an organization, as a movement, because baby boomers are the most educated uh, group ever in the history of civilization. They have more knowledge than any other uh, generation. They are the most wealthiest generation. They're taking care of not only their generation, but the generation, their parents, well, that their, is true. Their, their kids. They call them sandwich people, the, the right? The sandwiches and then the boomerang kids, all of the above. So what's happening is that when you talk about benefits, we have got to find a way to get baby boomers benefits so that they can continue to do what they need to well, do. What if we go out and earn our benefits? How so? What do you mean? Make we, money. We can make money. We can do that. But you mean benefits such as health benefits? Yes. And things like that? Oh, no, 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 no. We have got to start. Wow. All right, go we, on. I'm we, listening. We have got. Look. This is the most controversial biz buzz show ever. I'm excited. I didn't know we were going to wander into this health care issue. Look, baby boomers, there are 78 million of them. Wow. 78 million. Some say 80 million. They are controlling three economies. Their children's economies, their economies, and their parents' economies. If someone is not sitting there trying to help them take care benefits-wise, then how are they going to help their kids, their own, and then their parents? All right. It's a no-brainer. <laughs> All right, says you. Let, let's agree to disagree on that point. But because I want to leave us time to cover this other thing about... I love the discussion. I know you do. I can tell. Me too. And, and I don't disagree. I mean, I would love for somebody to pay for my health insurance. I just don't think anybody's gonna, and therefore I'm paying for it myself. Right. And I, and I think that's the, that is the wave of the future. But, but that's all right. We can set that aside. So before we run out of time, I want to know, how do you help somebody begin to pinpoint the direction that they should go in? If they've been in a corporate gig... Um, or a government job, for that matter, because people are getting laid off from government jobs, too, right. for years and years and years. Now there's this array of opportunity. How do you even begin to sift through that and decide what direction to go? you got to start. you got to start. You have to have an idea. And, you know, 30 years ago, when, when we were in our 20s, and you said, wow, I had a great idea. But you said, you know what, i got to go to corporate America and make a living and have kids and things like that. Now is the time to explore, explore that great idea. Explore. And if it's not a great idea, if you're not one of those people that are made to be an entrepreneur, 
then you're going to find out real soon, and then maybe you should backtrack to corporate America. You might not find corporate America the place that it was, but if you are, you're going to have a great opportunity because the playing field is now leveled via the Internet. Fabulous. Thank you for being with me. I appreciate it. Kenneth Coe is my guest, Business Birth Inc., the name of his company. Where would somebody find you on the Internet? www.businessbirth.co. We are creating an entrepreneur, a baby boomer entrepreneur platform. We encourage you, we invite you to go there and look at each panel there on all of the business birth things that we have there, and then please make a comment. All right, we'll look for that. And what else do I need to say? I'm Katherine Johns. Um, BizBuzz Show is the name of the program, and we are part of the Linked Local Network. Link locally, connect globally.